So Rosa, we're sitting in front of not one, but eight Imperial Wutsai Dragon and Phoenix Bowls, um, part of a large collection, single owner collection that we're offering on the 29th of October, ahead of our two day sale of Chinese and Japanese works of art. So side by side, it's pretty magical to see them together and compare the very slight differences in shape and design. This is the Jia Qing bowl, the one Jia oh. Qing bowl that we have. Um, oh, that's funny. The, the main difference of this one, which I absolutely love, is the really detailed polychrome feathers uh, to the neck of the phoenix, whereas all of the other seven from Dao Guang and Chenlong periods just have a very stylized, stylized phoenix what? neck. Yes, well, I, I think it's a more it's a desire for archaism, isn't it? But also, I, I, I think the design on the Jiaqing bowl is also a little bit richer than it is on the... Um, just the pattern here is a little bit more sparse. The, the other thing I always like is to just feel the weight and touch the porcelain. Some dealers enjoy trying to tell the period of porcelain just by touching the foot rim. But I, I think what is interesting to see is that you do have a little bit of variation, but across the Chenlong period balls, um, you know, the, the, the production is really quite regular. You, you have a little bit of variation in the, the depth of the blue. Um, I think you're I'm right, because the, the shape is a here. bit more refined with Chenlong. Yes. The, the, the rim just comes up a bit more elegantly. It's a little bit more flared, isn't mm. it? And a bit thinner. But also, I think the dragon is slightly, ever so slightly different, isn't it? Um, just the um, the face of the dragon. Yes, once you touch it, you fierce. really yes. Yeah. Um, the, the the iron red and the it, he's a little bit more big headed, isn't he? Also in front of us, moving on um, in the collection, we've got two remarkable examples of Dao Guang imperial porcelain of two different sizes. Uh, included in the collection of four of these that are 18.7 centimetres in diameter. Yes. And a pair of those which are 14.9 centimetres yes. in diameter. And they are remarkable for so many reasons. Well, I, I love this pattern. This is a design that was first produced during the reign of Chenlong. And it's a type known as Yang Cai, which means foreign colours. And this is not just because the Fami, what we call the Fami Rose palette was introduced um, through Jesuit min missionaries, but it is, I, I, I think it's also the depiction of the, of the flowers here is, is quite inspired by Western taste. You know, they do have quite a Baroque um, aesthetics. And they're them. kind of stylized, aren't they? They're kind yes. of fanciful, but based on a, a real, well, yes, a real the, flower head. Absolutely. The, the, the Met Museum has a ball of the bigger size, the 18.7 centimeter diameter example. And they do point out um, that these are not actual flowers. So it, it's sort of a, a synthesis of um, chrysanthemum and peony and lotus and, and just flowers that um, are particularly auspicious and uh, bring a meaning of general majesty and beauty. 